Welcome to another Salty Strikes uh, Fishing Adventure. I'm Chris, this is Kim, and we got Lily and Lacey with us, uh, two puppies. And uh, anyway, uh, today started off with a, a good plan. Uh, started well, Kim caught some really nice fish, but then tragic tragedy happened, and uh, we had uh, some loss in our life. And uh, stick around to see that. Um, it's gonna cost us some money, but we're gonna persevere. So check it out. Red. It looks like a spot red. Yeah, he might. Kim's got a nice uh, 29 and a half over slot red. He's going back in the water because he's too big, but look at that pretty tail. Nice little spot. It's going back. to waste no time. I'm not sure if I mentioned but uh, when she caught that fish but I probably did but it's uh, 18 inches to 27 for slot redfish here. Anything under 18 got to go back anything over 27 has to go back but always uh, check your local regulations it's the east coast of Florida and sometimes it changes um, so you know always double check we use the fish rules app um, and sometimes if you're not absolutely sure you go to the FWC website and double check because you know it has been wrong before so um, just throwing that out there so you guys know so I don't know when you're gonna watch this but you know regulations do change but for right now it's uh, 18 to 27 Can't wake you out, please. Right. Yeah, baby. 
Oh, nice, another nice black drum. There you go. Oh, man. Good job, baby. 21, just a little smaller than the other one. But I definitely saw it. Those are, these are 14 to 24 um, here on the east coast of Florida. Always check your rolls. Well, it's slack tide right now and the bite's kind of slowed down. And um, so we're gonna head out and try to grab some mullet. Um, well, we got a little bit of free time and then we're gonna fish the outgoing tide. We got some, we're gonna send out and in search of some big redfish and see if we can't pull some of those in. Tim's already got his dinner, <laughs> right? So now we're just kind of fishing for fun. time let Lily run around and uh, got some bait, extra bait so we're gonna fish this out going out going tide now well as you can tell something's not quite right with this video um, uh, you, you probably noticed there's no hat cam footage up to this point and um, that is because uh, I was getting some um, drum footage. I was just trying to do a nice, cool, uh, you know, aerial shot uh, of the drum pulling away from the, the boat. And um, I got a little too close to the rod that's sticking up here. <laughs> and it hit it and it went right in the water. And as I saw it going down, I didn't even think twice. I just jumped in after it and I couldn't grab it in time. It, it was already gone and my hat came off and my hat cam and my, and my drone both they're gone um so that kind of sucked it was pretty a little bit damper on the day uh it's a lot of money down the tube but um you know and earlier uh kim got on two black drum not just one which you probably saw but the first one uh i got on the hat cam only because the, uh, the other two were having connection problems or whatever but anyway uh, so we got you know she had two black drum in the boat and then that nice red drum and I got the you know a couple of stingrays and got those and so Ken was doing pretty well anyway um, but you know that brings us to now so it kind of sucks but you know we're still having a good time and uh, making the best of it even though you know it's, it kind of sucks but uh, the video you've seen up up until now for the drone is there's like a low resolution. Um, that's saved to my phone. So all the stuff that you've seen up until now has been that lower resolution video. Uh, luckily at least that's saved. But so that being said, uh, the last few seconds of that drone's life uh, was caught on video. So here you can check that out real quick. All right, here it is in slow motion. So, but we'll be back at it. Well, something's already eaten all the guts out of this uh, crab, bit it in half, and so let's send another one out there. All right, after that madness on the dealing with the drone and losing of the drone and the, the GoPro, um, I think uh, you know we threw some crab out there and uh, the bite was kind of slow. So I think we're just going to call it a day, chalk up our losses. And, uh, and walk away with our, you know, Kim's got these two uh, nice uh, uh, black drum. And so we're gonna cook those up. So I'm gonna take them over to the flay table and stick around and check that out. And I'll show you how we do that. Well, here we are at the flay table. Like we got Kim's black drum and we're gonna cut those up for you. If you wanna check that out and um, let's get to it. Well, first we're just gonna usually start right back here around by the backbone just work my way forward until I hit that hit that head meat and I just they come around 
Let's do a nice little flight right there. Then you just want to pick that up. Work down that backbone. And you like just come right down those ribs. Straight down. And you get the whole filet and Maybe just missed a tiny bit of meat there, but this is all ribs right here. No trim. A few of the pin bones. That's big filet, you know, black drum have a lot of scales just like red drum. They're gonna get everywhere. Got some of these rib bones. Got a few of these pin bones. Well, thanks for joining us on another Salty Strikes fishing adventure. I uh, hope you guys enjoy that. Um, you know, it was a rough going there. Um, we, you know, lost a GoPro, we lost a drone, and um, you know, it was a little disheartening. And uh, the day started off well. Kim got nice, three nice fish. Um, you know, but we lost a lot of footage there. But I'll do my best to edit it together as best I can with what we got. And, um, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed that filet. And we're just going to keep our chin up. You know, it's not what happens to you. It's how you handle it. And uh, we're trying to handle this as best we can. And we'll keep the content rolling. Uh, we'll keep getting out there. Um, you know, we can replace the camera, replace the drone. Uh, it's just a matter of time. And um, thanks for all you guys for subscribing. And thank you for all those thumbs up and all those positive comments down below. It really keeps us going. Um, you know, especially when, you know, things like this happen. Um, you know, we're still going to be out there making content for you guys and uh, hope you enjoy it. So uh, until we see you next time on the water, bye guys.